Welcome back. So in today's Global Spotlight, we're talking about how U.S. companies have started to paint a grimmer picture of the U.S. economy. Now, a whole host of companies across industries like auto, delivery giants, steel companies and even retailers have issued warnings in the last one month, citing high inflation and a bleak demand globally. And this has raised a worry that the U.S. may not be able to avoid a hard landing. It also perhaps gives you an indication of what is coming in terms of the earnings season and that may not be so rosy. Now let's start with Ford Motors, the shares which suffered its worst fall in more than 11 years yesterday with a decline of 12% after the automaker pre-released part of its third quarter earnings report and warned of a whopping $1 billion in unexpected supply costs. And they also pushed forward their deliveries into the next quarter. $1 billion of a hit on account of inflation as well as shortage. This announcement also caught several people off guard as expectations were that the supply chain problems for the automakers, uh, the shortages were actually easing. Ford's warnings, remember, comes less than a week after delivery company FedEx dropped the ball as earnings missed estimates and the company pulled or withdrew its annual guidance due to slowing global demand. FedEx cited macroeconomic weakness in Asia, service challenges in Europe, and Ford and FedEx announcement together have only added to the growing bloom from companies across industries. General Electric, GE's CFO, had warned that the company is seeing pressure on cash flows amid supply chain snags, while industrial titans like U.S. Steel Corp, Alcoa, Nucor, all of them have said that deliveries are waning. The chief executive officer of McDonald's Corp had said that he expects a minor U.S. recession in 2023 and a more significant one in Europe. Even retailers in the U.S., big ones like Walmart and Target, had reported a very large stockpiles of unsold inventory. And this is just all growing evidence that the U.S. economy is perhaps slowing and a soft landing may almost seem impossible. These downbeat corporate updates from big businesses have also added to market worries that this may just be one of the many. We're going to see a lot many more in the coming few days and there could be margin compression and some softening in the top line for companies of uh, large U.S. companies when they report their earnings in October. In fact, analysts say that this could be the perfect opportunity to throw the baby out with the bathwater and get, you know, get the opportunity to use all the negative information out on your balance sheet. But markets are going to watch what impact this has on corporate balance sheets. If companies are actually getting hit on account of $1 billion, this will, will this start reflecting in terms of a hiring slowdown, some layoffs, spending cuts? This is going to be watched very closely. But the bottom line, uh, you know, that we wanted to highlight is now increasingly across sectors, large U.S. enterprises are warning of hits to their profitability on account of inflation as well as slowing global demand. On that note, we'll get into a very short break. We'll come back with more on the markets on the other side. Stay tuned.